Well, sleep is very important. Scientists now say sleep is more powerful than any drug in its ability to restore and rejuvenate the human brain and body. Here to talk about sleep is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD, like every Tuesday. Thank you for joining us, Dr. G. I'm glad to be here. And, and nice you're wide awake. awake. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> well, it has been well documented in this country that we are very sleep deprived as a society, but there's now scientific evidence that this is not a luxury, but really a critical component to good health. Yes, a recent study from right here at UCSD just last week published that we actually, if we get one more hour of sleep a night, we can become 16% more productive and make 16% more money. And the reason is no one in this country is probably getting enough sleep. You know, you really need about eight hours of sleep a night for your brain to function really efficiently. And the more efficient your brain functions, the better you are at work. And we're not really putting our brains to sleep, so to speak. The brain is very active at night, they've discovered. And so what is happening in our brain and does it only happen during REM sleep when we are well, uh, at night? It's not just REM, it's the whole process of sleeping. When we sleep, our brain uses about one third less energy. So we're not using as much energy. But what's more important is that the brain cells actually will contract a little bit. And what that does is it allows a fluid surrounding the brain cells to basically cleanse all of the toxins and the oxidants that the brain cells make. So when you sleep, you're repairing your brain cells. You're also allowing all the memories and all the information you'd gather during the day to really take take form and, and become permanent memories. Now, is sleep more critical with different ages? There's a big debate going on right now in this country about teenagers and the lack of sleep and early class times at schools. Yes, absolutely, and we both have teenagers at home, and it turns out teenagers need nine hours of sleep a night. Adults about eight, and then children that aren't pre, like a preteens and children, 10 hours. Now, we all know that almost none of our teenagers are getting nine hours of sleep, and that's why one out of every four teenagers teenagers falls asleep in class and that's just not the not the right thing now people will say well over the weekend the teenagers are going to sleep uh, more time and that's going to make up for it to some extent yes but sleeping more on the weekends really doesn't replace what you should be getting which is nine hours of sleep a night for a teen eight hours for an adult and real quickly do you get the same benefits if your sleep has been induced by sleeping pills or any kind of aid no you really don't only four percent of the u.s population actually takes sleeping pills but it doesn't do quite the same thing we know that sleeping pills don't put you to sleep for all eight to nine hours so there's a, a few things we can do basically have a very comfortable bed a pillow try to decrease ambient noise don't drink caffeinated beverages or a big meal or alcohol within six hours of going to sleep and try to keep things calm and try to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. That'll get you, get you into a very healthy pattern of sleep. All right, Dr. G, very interesting information. And now we know we're oh. not spoiling ourselves <laughs> when we get a good night's sleep. It's a no, necessity. It's a really good thing to do. All right, thanks. And we'll see you next Tuesday, Dr. G. Be here.